Hey, it's Mr. Johns, and welcome to this first tutorial in Scratch, the online coding tool. And we're going to create a uh, quick animation, pretty basic, using some sprites that you will draw. Really, just one dot that you'll draw and duplicate three more times, and then add some code that will fill the screen full of animated dancing rainbow lines. So pretty basic, but it will teach you some things that maybe you haven't done in Scratch before. So, um, all right, so you'll see um, on my screen, I've already finished this program, so we're gonna kind of deconstruct it and you're going to recreate it uh, from Scratch. And I always think that's funny when I say, make it from Scratch in Scratch. Ha ha, so um, you'll notice that the background is not just white. So the first thing I would recommend is you start a new file. Okay, so file new and delete the cat and uh, then go to backdrops and search. So choose a backdrop. If you'll um, uh, search for, I think it's called sky. Let's go down and just look. Stars, it's called stars. So you could just search for stars right here in the search box or go find stars and that will um, place it in um, the backdrop, in the background of your stage. All right, so next we need to create a new sprite. So if you'll click on the cat and paint. So that's gonna bring up the basically the paint um, editor and you will want to um, you know choose the color. It doesn't matter. Um, I chose bright red just so I could see it against the sky but you can choose the color here and the saturation and the brightness. Um, so I just kind of chose red and made it 100% saturated and, and as bright as possible. Um, and um, we don't need the outline. We don't need any of this other stuff. You're gonna choose the, the paint brush and you know make it about the size of a uh, pea, like a green pea, like a little pea, um, about that big. Okay, um, and then we want to call it, so down here where it says Sprite, you want to name it dot one, dot one. All right, so I have already uh, done this, so I don't need a purple Sprite. Um, so let's go to uh, bum, 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 undo, undo, I don't need it. So you're gonna create a um, red dot called dot one and um, I mean that's how big it is in you know in your in your editor, but um, you can see how big it'll be on the screen. And um, if you look at my information on my um, dot one, uh, it is a hundred percent size, and um, it is not shown right now. And the direction is 78 degrees. So uh, don't worry about any of that at this point. Just make it 100 degrees and red, and you know make it visible. That's fine. We can hide it later. So make it visible, and we want to add some code to the dot. So click on code. You know. So when dot one is highlighted and you click code, that will be the code for that sprite. Also, a little tip. If you look in the upper right corner right here where my mouse is, it shows you um, which sprite you are coding for. Now in this case, we end up with four dots that all look the same, so that doesn't really help us, but typically your sprites will not look the same. All right, so we're gonna create a uh, coding block, it's called, that looks just like this. You will always start your code blocks with when clicked, and that's found over under um, events. It's a light yellow and it's the top one. You notice that the top of these events are round. So you cannot add something to the top. They won't snap on the top of that. That's because these are the beginnings of a code block. All right. And then you're gonna uh, add a blue um, point in the direction of, point in direction. And what you maybe didn't know was that when you have a circle on a code block you can put other code blocks in the circle now they have to be the right size uh, or sorry the right shape so in this case this is a circle or an oval and this green code block is an, is an oval and so you just snap it in place 
and we want to snap in a pick random and then type the numbers negative 180 to positive 180 and yes you have to type the negative but you don't have to type the plus for positive so um, all right and then you're gonna add a forever a forever loop it's called um, and it's under control forever and that's anytime you want something to happen forever until you stop it until you click stop this is the code you'll add so forever we want it to move 10 steps so you're gonna add a blue motion um, code that says move and I think it it defaults to 10 so you'll see a lot of codes that just have 10 uh, you can play with that, that later and, and that's part of the fun in coding is play with the settings to see what happens so we want it to move 10 steps and we're gonna add a if on edge bounce so if, if it's a good idea to try to understand what this is telling this dot to do when we click start which I just did and by the way sorry those are other things that I've, <laughs> I've already done so let me hit stop um, the um, when I when I click go the dot is going to pick a random direction um, between negative and, and positive 180 and forever it's going to go 10 steps um, at a time because it's going to do it forever 10 and then 10 and then 10 and then 10 forever 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 and if it hits an edge it's going to bounce okay so that's exactly what we want it to do um, now that we have dot one with some coding we want to um, go down here to um, the sprite in the sprite area click on right click on dot one and duplicate it it will automatically create a second sprite with the same coding and it looks the same and it knows it's the second one so it's going to call it dot two and do that one more time right click on dot two duplicate it and it creates dot three which looks the same same coding all that stuff okay and then we are going to um, I think this is my purple one let me see here um, we are going to right click on dot three and duplicate it one last time but this one we are going to call drawing dot drawing dot okay so it looks the same but we're gonna code it differently it's gonna be it's gonna be the thing that actually draws the lines all right so we have three dots with identical coding we have a fourth dot that um, we're gonna add this code block to all right so go ahead and make sure you name it drawing dot make sure um, you click on the code blocks and let's add this code block all right you may notice however that the second thing um, is a light like teal pen tool where's that so you have to click down here on the very bottom where my mouse is on add extension and just click this one right here and by the way there are other fun things to add music instruments and stuff that play with when you have a chance but for now add the pen tool and now it adds it to your list of code blocks code options okay so you will then just go ahead and build a code block that looks just like this when clicked erase everything wait two seconds I, I didn't want the uh, rainbow lines just to happen I wanted there to be a little suspense okay so a little pause so two seconds and then it's gonna set the pen size to eight like the thickness of your pen and then forever it's gonna pick up the pen move wherever it is right wherever that pen is it's gonna pick it up go over to dot one and go down so if you look at the code uh, forever the pens gonna be in the air it's like a real pen right a real marker it's gonna go over to dot one which is right here by the way it flashes if you click on it um, and it's going to go down and it's going to draw a line basically to dot two and then it's gonna stay down and go to dot three and it's gonna next time it does it it's gonna change the pen color by 10 whatever that is you know the whatever that is <laughs> yeah I mean that's all I can say it's gonna go from one color and then 10 steps or degrees darker or different uh, however scratch has set that up okay so you can kind of see how that ends up with like a rainbow effect all right and um, therefore if we hit uh, let's see if we're all good here make sure we're all good 
Oh, so you notice that the red dot here, this dot is just sitting there. Um, the other dots are invisible because I turned, I changed this one, right? So we don't want that red dot just to be sitting there. As a matter of fact, you never see the red dots. Um, literally, they are just hidden now. And when I hit go, those lines just show up two seconds later. Let's find out. Okay, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. The lines show up. All right, so it is doing what we told it to do and something you'll hear me say a lot. Coding will only do what you tell it to do. There are no ghosts. There are no, you know, um, little weird things that happen. I mean, there are some weird things that happen, but with coding, just remember, it does what you tell it to do. So if it's not working, you have to go back and do what's called debug it. Look for the bugs in it, which is the mistakes. They're human mistakes. Uh, when they, people first started coding way back in the 50s, 60s, um, they would call it a, a, a ghost in the machine or a bug in the code. You know, not taking blame them <laughs> themselves when really it was coding error. Human error is what it is. And so um, that's kind of coding in a nutshell. But as you can see, this is going to go on forever because I told it to go on forever. Um, once you get this thing to work, I would like you to uh, go up to the address here, delete the word editor, just go backspace right there and highlight that and just email me, control C and send me an email and then paste that control V into an email so I can see your code uh, and run your program, which is very cool. Also, um, you know, you might want to change some of these numbers, change the steps here, change the directions. It's fine, you know. Um, if you remember, maybe write them down what they're supposed to be. Um, but play with some of those numbers, pay, play with the pen size, um, change the pattern. If you want it to go to dot three first and then dot two, um, you can, you know, change the brightness, the saturation, the transparency. Yeah, play with some of those settings and see what your rainbow um, can look like. And uh, it, it's actually kind of fun. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you um, struggle with any of this, just go back and rewatch this. Take it step by step and pause it between um, steps. Add the code to match. You can always run it along the way to see what happens. And if you have any questions, just contact me and I'll help you. All right. So, hope you had fun with that. Mr. John's out.